All righty, good morning, everybody. We take a live look at dual Doppler. We could see some thunderstorms now moving across part of green country. We got a little shower around Bristow now. That'll be moving back into the Tulsa metro. Uh, we zoom on in. We can see some activity that was once over Midtown, now move, has moved off the north and east toward the Claremore area. There's that thunderstorm near Bristow. Again, these are fairly weak, and again, they're kind of losing their strength now, mainly just some uh, brief gusty winds, some uh, from time to time, some uh, brief heavy rain and some lightning, of course, as these storms move very quickly off to the north and east at about 30 miles per hour. We move off to the north. We can see more thunderstorms across the border near Caney over toward Independence, Kansas. This is the strongest of the activity. So more lightning with this again, still not severe. Wouldn't surprise me to see some pea sized hail moving into the Independence area right now, but that's about it. Our thunderstorm chances are still there as we head toward the evening hours, especially overnight as more storms form off to our west and move on in. Talk about that here in just a second. Here's a live look from Brookside. You can see those thunderstorms off to our north there, but the sun is back out here in Tulsa. And once these storms move on out, things will really heat up. We'll stick with sunshine through this afternoon and the humidity will be quite high as we head throughout the rest of today as well. 73 in Owasso, 79 already in Broken Arrow, 77 in Okmulgee, a nice rain cooled 68 in Bartlesville. So you combine the humidity outside with the heat. It's going to make it feel warmer this afternoon. Our feels like temperatures, our heat index values in the mid 90s later on. Winds are okay right now, but as we head through the afternoon, they're going to pick up a little breezy out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. The next few hours, we will start to warm up into the 80s. So there's that chance for thunderstorms over the next hour or so. Then those move on out. The sunshine breaks out and we're starting to look at some hot temperatures through the afternoon. 92 will be our daytime high by three o'clock. Now you can see that on future track with mostly sunny skies, but thunderstorms forming off to our west this afternoon, likely severe in western Oklahoma. They try to make a run toward I-35 by around 10 o'clock this evening along a cold front, and then they move into our area probably around midnight or just after midnight tonight, but they will be in a weakened state as they move into our area, but they still have the possibility to be on the strong side with some brief gusty winds and possibly some hell, of course, some thunder and lightning. So you might be woken up to some rumbles of thunder late tonight. Those storms move out with that cold front. We're looking at drier and cooler conditions for Sunday. Sunday should turn out to be a beautiful day. Highs only in the upper 70s, lower 80s, a little bit less humidity, partly cloudy skies with some dry conditions. And it looks like we stay dry for the most part as we head toward Monday as well. Can't rule out some isolated pop up thunderstorms of the next few days, but really this evening will be our best chance for thunderstorms over the next several days. Our severe weather outlook shows an enhanced risk toward southeast Kansas. That's the best chance to see severe weather later on this afternoon and evening here in Tulsa. We are in a slight risk for severe weather, but as you can see better chances off to the west this evening. But if a storm were to make it in our area, still be severe. Main threats going to be some damaging wind gusts and some hail up the size of golf balls as we head through the evening. Of course, we'll be keeping a close eye on it. Highs today into the upper 80s and lower 90s. A hot day, 92 here in Tulsa, 91 Okmulgee, 89 McAllister, 90 degrees in the Stigler area. So there's a 30% chance for thunderstorms early tomorrow morning and then a nice day tomorrow afternoon. A slight chance of for some thunderstorms as we head toward Monday all the way through most of next week. Now it looks really rainy next week, but uh, it's not really the case. Again, these are just very, very slight chances, just a 30% chance through Monday all the way through Thursday. So not everybody will see rain this week, but there is a slight chance for some thunderstorms here and there. Again, very isolated through the work week with highs remaining in the mid to upper 80s to the lower 90s by the weekend. Jitzel.